Uh, hello, this is uh, Ben Giles, uh, one of the commercial technical managers for Bayer Crop Science. Uh, we're here in the Midlands. Uh, the, the plan here today is to do a full uh, pot test uh, sample on this field, so, so we'll need a reasonable amount of seed. This, this would be a pretty expensive test to do, you're talking many hundreds of pounds uh, to have this, this test done. Um, and so you want to do it right, and there are a few things that you, you can do wrong. Too early, and the black grasses are in effect not mature, that is probably one of the biggest problems. Um, number one, it'll be difficult to sample, you'll probably have to strip the heads off, which is never a good thing to have to do. And that seed is unlikely to be viable when it gets to your chosen, chosen uh, sampling point or, or lab in effect uh, and therefore they'll still charge you but uh, you won't get a germination from the test because the seed is not viable. Other things that can that can go wrong not taking enough seed I would say that's probably one of the, the biggest problems we find certainly with samples that come in you know you need seed uh, a reasonable amount as I say at least a half pint sort of glass full. Um, the third bad sampling method I would say probably is, is not sampling from across the whole field. It's very important to walk the entire field or the entire patch of, uh, of black grass to get a good sample from across that and not just up and down the tram lines. It means, you know, unfortunately it means crushing a bit of crop at this time of year, but uh, you know, it is important to get uh, a full sample from the entire area of black grass. So in terms of actually taking the seed, we're here within the black grass patch now. I've got my sort of pot here that I'm going to collect the seed within, nice and easy to, to collect lots of seed in there, you're not going to drop too much of the sample on the floor. There's plenty of black grass to choose from here. I'm just going to show you, you know, ideally how to sort of take the head. You choose a nice, nice ripe one here, you can see some of the very tip of this already fallen on the floor, so it should be good. And just basically tap it on the side of, the, of your pot there and there's plenty of seed falling off in there. You can sort of very gently brush it with your fingers and a few more will fall off. What not to do is if you take a head like this that is probably not quite as mature and sort of dig your fingernail in and sort of strip all the seed off is, is definitely not the way to do. See this is not falling off quite as easily and uh, would require me to strip it and they're probably not as mature as the seeds we've just sampled. So don't take those ones in effect. Stick to heads that you can see uh, you know in reasonably good order and there's plenty of seed will fall off them quite easily.